Hi, Scissorin here with another video for the Ultimatum League. I just wanted to do a quick update on what we're doing after the most recent death. And uh, this is going to be, I'm going to talk about my lab farmer, a little bit about the build and what I'm doing. So, this is a Juggernaut. And uh, this is a build I did a lot in like 3.7, 3.5, and I used to play a lot back then. Let's just take a quick look at the skill tree. Not much has changed. I'm using a Crywolf just to, you know, get endurance charges easier and make sure they're always up. And I have instant war Christ, which I probably won't do later, but it's it's a pretty straightforward Herald, Herald of Agony build. And uh, this is basically a build that's like kind of low damage, but it's very, very tanky. I currently have nine endurance charges and uh well i can do the gift of the goddess lab or a normal uber lab no problem um actually gift of the goddess the level 83 uber lab that you get from harvest is actually scary as fuck i really have to focus even like normal monsters can pretty much one shot me if i don't have endurance charges up so i'm very very scared but um it's uh, it's been pretty okay so far i've done like eight or nine and i made a large amount of money so what exactly am i doing so I decided, I'm just having a chilled out league, right? I'm playing some janky builds, trying to do builds that I haven't done that much before, or at least not recently, and uh, exploring new builds like Exsanguine, and uh, exploring non-meta things, like the, this shield build, that the strength stacker we uh, did and stuff like that, and that's been pretty fun. And then I was like, you know what? There's like no event, I don't have anything to prove this league. Let's abuse your streamer privilege a little bit. Or not so much streamer play privilege as it is trust privilege. Because obviously I am very, very trusted in the community. And that comes with some benefits you can use. So I decided, and I think Ventura suggested it initially as well. Why don't you set up a lab enchant service run? And I was like, you know what? That's not the worst idea ever. So that's what I did. I, uh, I set up a, uh, a lab enchant and I just quickly put together a spreadsheet. And people give me their helmets, and then I price it slightly cheaper than what it would be on PoE Trade. Sometimes a bit more expensive. It's something that's like you know very very desirable, like Pride Reservation, um, and they can get it on the helmet that they've already crafted. I take it in my inventory, and uh, yeah, they uh, they get it on either their helmet or a unique helmet, whatever they need, right? So I'm just running lab, and uh, that's been pretty good because. Normally with something like this, you could be at risk of getting scammed. Obviously with your good friends is in, this is safe. I won't scam you. So so that's been good and uh, it's it's a pretty cool thing. I'm also because of uh, obviously abusing a little bit of uh, trust and stuff like that. I'm doing it like pretty cheap. So uh, it's been like, I don't think I've done any enchant over 5x so far. Um, but it's been uh, pretty cool so far. Had a few big ticket enchants. I think the most expensive one I got was the Burning Arrow debuff duration or something on a Blizzard Crown, which is pretty expensive right now. But uh, yeah, it's fun. And this is what I'm going to do, at least for a few days, just to make a large amount of money to do some more fun builds. Uh, not 100% sure. I might do either Fire Burst, SRS. I don't know yet. But either way, currency is fun. And, you know, from the goodness of my heart, I get to help other people find enchants that they really, really need. No, I mean, obviously, I'm just doing this for the money. It's great money, and um, it's, it's a good build for it. I'll be doing bosses as well for even more money, and, and that is what the entire thing is. I just want to make as much money as possible. Will I do a headhunter? I don't know. Uh, we'll see, but um, there are so many enchants that are that are really, really, like, good now, and I can show you, like, here I have, like, a tab, and this is, like, uh, helmet bases that people want enchanted. And then I have a bunch of my own ones here on the right that, uh, you know, if, if there isn't an enchant that somebody wants something specific, like, you know, 70% mana region on boots, right, is uh, ordered quite a lot. But if there's something there that maybe isn't ordered but is expensive, I'll put it on one of my helmets and try to sell it myself. But either way, that is my current plan. I'm going to do that pretty much all of tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty popular so far. Generally doing like food enchants for like 50, 60 C. Uh, and helmet enchants, just around like 1 to 2x. And uh, if they're really, really popular, like 4 or 5. But uh, I'm trying to keep it pretty cheap because it's just really good when you get a large amount of traffic. If I always have something I'm selling, that's a lot better than waiting. I don't want to wait. I just want to sell everything as fast as possible. So I'd rather get less for each enchant. And that brings me a lot more income overall. So that's my current project. That's what I'm working on right now. 
Um, I'm also, because of this, going to make, like, a few guides around lab and explaining a little bit about, like, how does Uber Lab work, um, how does uh, the, the well, lab in general work. Enchants, like, the new Enchant system is obviously really, really good for this because now you get to see what helmet enchant you're picking before putting it on an item, and that's obviously huge because before um, you would have to... You would have to uh, randomly spam and chance on one helmet until you got what you want. Now I can have 60, 70 helmets in my inventory and pretty much no matter what I hit, it will uh, it will be able to go to the right home, to the right owner. So I'm really enjoying it. It's been pretty fun. It uh, It's a lot more exciting to run lab now with this change. And, uh, you know, there's not that many people in the community that is trusted and... Uh, Hates themselves enough to want to run lab repeatedly. But yeah, I've decided it's either this or heist. And I'm I just, I don't know. I bought some heist contracts. It's, it's hard. I don't have the mental fortitude required to do heist. Uh, and, and a lot of people might be wondering about the gluttony belt. It's basically Juggernaut hits itself and gets endurance charges. So if I flame dash with gluttony, I get endurance charges. And that's nice to be able to get endurance charges before the fight starts. Uh, right now I don't have that much damage. I don't have like damage rings or a good helmet, but uh, it's probably like 800,000 or something. It's a decent amount, but when I'm doing the gift of the goddess, the uber uber lab, very, very little damage. All right, so now we're at the end of the lab and this is the new... Ooh, I sold one of these for 4x earlier or something. What was that on? That was on a inward... No, wait, is this... No, I haven't had this before. Either way, like, you see now you have, like, a selection of things. Uh, so then what I do is I'll just, like, open trade and I'll be like, Arcane Cloak spends additional mana. Okay, I had the regen one earlier, which a lot of raiders like. I don't know if this is good. Seems like it is good. It's like 1x on a hubris. I don't think any of the other ones are particularly good. So I'm going to put it on a crown of the inward eye because that's a hard one to get them on. There. Uh, enemies drenched by hydrosphere of exposure. Ooh, fireball damage. And that is one of the ones that somebody has ordered. Uh, fireball damage on Eye of Malice. Eye of Malice. So I'm going to throw that on. And they're going to be happy. And then I sell that. Boom. Fireball damage. And now I only had two enchants. If I do Gift to the Goddess, I get nine. Nine is obviously better than two. But uh, yeah, some profit there. So that's one X. Then I'll just message them and be like, hey, I got your helmet enchant. You got my money. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a, a video updating you guys on what I'm doing. And I think it should be a lot of fun. Should be insane amounts of money for me. Uh, while also doing a pretty useful but expensive service for the community. Hey. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Thanks again so much for all the support. Sub if you like the videos. But more importantly, try to die less than I do.